In the previous video, we created the node and linked list classes. We also implemented the isEmpty and getSize methods on the linked list class. In this video, let's learn how to add a new node at the start of the list. I'm going to use a few slides to help you visualize the code we are going to write. We're going to learn this in three simple steps. Step one, we have to create a new node that will be added to the list. The node will contain a value and a pointer pointing at null. Let's go back to Replit and start with this. Let's call the method prepend as we are adding an element at the start of the list. The method accepts a value that the new node should contain. Within the function body, we create a new node by instantiating the node class. Const node is equal to new node and we pass in value as an argument. This will initialize a new node with value set to the passed in value and the next pointer pointing at null. Step one has been implemented. Now that we have a node that we can prepend we have to address two scenarios. For step two, we're going to handle the scenario where the list might be empty to begin with. If a list is empty, we have to make the head point at the newly created node. Remember, the head pointer should always point at the first node in the list. By pointing head at the newly created node, we have effectively prepended our node to an empty list. If this is clear, let's go back to Replit and write the code. So, if this dot is empty, this dot head is equal to node. We will also update the size to keep track of the number of nodes in the list. This dot size plus plus. So this code takes care of inserting a node at the start when the list is empty. Let's proceed to step three where we address the case where the list is not empty. Let's assume we are starting with a list that contains three nodes. Head is pointing at the first node, each node points at the next node, and the last node points at null. To add a new node at the start, make the newly created node point at the head node, and make the newly added node as the head of the list. This will ensure connectivity between the newly added node and the existing list while also ensuring head continues to point at the first node in the list. If this is clear, let's go back to Replit and write the code. If the list is not empty, so else block, we connect the newly added node to the existing list. So node.next is equal to this dot head. We then point head to the newly added node. This dot head is equal to node. The size will increment irrespective of whether the list is empty or not. This pretty much is your prepend method for a linked list. At the bottom, we can now call this method on the list instance. So list dot prepend 10. Let's also prepend 20 and 30. But at the moment, there is no way for us to visualize the nodes in the list. So in the next video, let's implement a method to print the values present in the list. But before we proceed, I want to mention one point. If you notice the if else block, you can see there is a repetition of this dot head is equal to node, which means the code can be refactored and written in a more concise manner, avoiding duplication. However, I have intentionally chosen to do this 
to help you create a mental model of the different operations. I want you to read this as what should I do if the list is empty and what should I do if it is not empty. Once you understand that, please feel free to write the code in a more optimal way. But as a beginner, I highly recommend writing code that you can read and understand easily. That should be your first priority. Alright, with that in mind, let's implement the print method in the next video.